Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and if you like Steven Universe leaks, this is your week because we have leaks galore when it comes to Steven Bomb 6. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down every piece of leaked information we have for the episode Dugout. So if you want a wholesome viewing experience and you don't want to see leaks or spoilers, click out of this video now because that's all we're talking about. So we have the first two minutes of this episode and a couple of images, so we're going to be breaking down those. All right. First off, Steven is having a conversation with Petey and Connie is next to him and Petey doesn't actually have any lines here, but Steven tells him to tell Ronaldo that he hopes that his weird rash clears up. And now this may sound weird, but I'm very intrigued by this. I definitely think it's just a regular normal rash for a human, but we all know that Ronaldo is going to chalk it up to be something that it's not. But the thing is, when I think of rash, when it comes to Steven Universe, I think of Jasper's corruption spreading. So if we get Ronaldo to talk about his rash, maybe we can have some more insight onto corruption and quite possibly how to cure it. I think that would be incredible, but definitely now is not the time to be talking about rashes. Maybe that'll be after all of the events of Steven Bomb 6, but yeah, there's no time to talk about rashes. Then Steven and Connie head over to a nearby bench to eat the bits and they recount the events of the previous Steven Bomb. And this isn't anything new because we actually saw this in the promo videos for this bomb and we saw what happened in Steven Bomb 5, so it's nothing new here. Then we suddenly have a man with a megaphone yelling at Steven to drop the bits. And this is quite clearly Connie's father, Mr. Mahesh Warren, and I'm kind of intrigued that he he knows that th those are the bits from a glance like maybe this is a conversation connie has with her father about steven oh he likes the fry bits or something like that i'd hope that's the case because if he can tell that that's fry bits from all the way over there he needs to be a, a legit detective no more of the security guard stuff but yeah steven gets very emotional he's ready to give himself up because he believes that this is a police officer trying to arrest him for ordering off the menu for so long and Steven's like a really innocent kid it's pretty funny but Connie recognizes her dad and tells him to stop messing with Steven so Mr. Mahesh Warren reveals himself and Steven passes out well not totally passes out but he just drops to the ground which is funny because in comparison to the things he's already faced I would think that facing the police is nothing compared to that but I guess he's still a kid and he's kind of dramatized the whole police scenario in his head for so long that it's like deadly to him but yeah we get some dialogue from connie's dad and this guy is really cool i do not remember him being this cool maybe his wife was just so strict that we really couldn't tell and he was kind of trying to appease her but the guy doesn't seem to be all that uptight he actually seems really cool like a really cool dad and he actually calls Connie a swashbuckling swashbuckler which if you don't know a swashbuckler is typically a hero portrayed in European literature who uses a sword and prides himself on the code of chivalry which is pretty much just like the standards for knights and stuff like that which is essentially what Pearl was attempting to turn her into in the episode Sworn to the Sword. So I'll pretty much take this as confirmation that Connie's dad knows that she uses a sword. And for a while now, we've known that her mom knows that she uses a sword. But until now, we haven't had confirmation that that information has been relayed to her father, which apparently it has. And he's cool with it, which makes me think he's a lot cooler than I once thought he was. And when he sees Steven pass out, he says that he's probably dehydrated from eating all that garbage. And he's joking here, but I'm curious what would happen if Steven actually went on a more healthy diet. I don't really think that they would do that for the show, but maybe it would be interesting to see Steven actually get fit for combat. But then we walk over to Mr. Mahesh Warren's car and Connie asks why he's in Beach City in the first place. And apparently he has a job out here and it was contracted by his private security company and then the clip cuts off. And we can sort of continue off of the images we get. And we have a kind of a profile shot of Mr. Mahesh Warren. Doesn't really tell us much, but he seems to be sort of on the fence against something. He's not necessarily angry, but he's raising a brow. He's like, hmm, 
And I think this is probably related to letting Steven and Connie on the job, you know, bring them with him. And his skepticism in this instance would make sense considering his job at a moment's notice can get dangerous. So to bring two children along with him may not be the best idea. But it seems like they convince him somehow. And I guess this job on paper doesn't seem that difficult, doesn't seem that dangerous. So he was like, all right, let me bring them on for the ride, make them feel special and be that cool dad. Maybe Steven and Connie are like, hey, we can be your informants. We can tell you about Beach City because he may not know the ins and outs of the town. So why not? So in the next image, we have a night shot and they're all in Doug's car. And if you remember the description for this episode a while back that was given away, was that this is a stakeout. Steven and Connie help out with a stakeout. So I guess they've just been waiting in this car having conversation for a while now. And Steven has like a little fake mustache. No idea where he would get that from. Maybe they went to a store or a costume store before then to sort of add to the experience. Okay, so in the next image, they leave the car and Doug is standing proudly in front of a broken fence. And Steven is dressed up with his mustache and his hat, his green hat, and he looks like Luigi. I really like that because, you know, you'd expect them to go for the typical Mario. But no, it's Luigi all the way, man. The best brother. And this actually reminds me of some fan art I saw a while back, which had like a bunch of emotional moments for Steven. But Steven was replaced with Mario and it was just, it was funny, but it looked really good as well. And Connie is also dressed up. And maybe this is a nod to something else. I'm not really sure because I don't exactly recognize it, but she looks pretty cool. But yeah, something strange definitely busts through this gate. This does not look like the work of a human. Everything is bent and broken and the lock is just like decimated. Yeah, no way a human did this. This is something gem related. In the next shot, we have Mr. Mahesh Warren busting into this sort of cyclone carnival machine. I swear we had one of those in Coney Island. I'm not really sure if it's still there or not, but um, Connie is poking through a little bit too. And the way that he's busting through, it seems like he feels like the culprit is right in there. He feels like he's onto something. Then we have a shot of Steven in there and this thing is on, it is spinning hard. But Steven, you know, being, I guess, part gem can withstand that speed a lot better. And he's not just like being flung onto the wall. Then we have a shot with a better look at their outfits, I guess, and the lights are on. For some reason or another, they are turned on, and everyone sort of looks a bit disappointed and sad, and I wonder why that is. Maybe they just feel like they can't find the culprit and they failed, or something like that. And then we have a shot of Onion, who is kind of like in the fetal position, and I guess they're going to say that, oh, this was all Onion's doing or something like that. And I never really noticed this, but has Onion always had a star on his foot? I, I don't remember that at all. Really interesting, actually. And if you remember from the promo, it seems like Onion gets abducted at Funland. So apparently after these guys leave, I guess they're going to say, Onion, get home, go, just leave. But he's not going to and he's going to get picked up. That would be wild. And in the last shot, we have Mr. Maheshwaran, I guess, being bashful. He's smiling and just rubbing his head. Maybe he thought that this was some big time stuff, but he just sees a kid and he's like, ah, it's nothing. But yeah, guys, that's all the leaks we have for the episode dugout so far. I hope that we don't get any more, honestly. I don't want these episodes to be totally ruined. But hey, if you want to stay up to date with my breakdowns of these leaks, make sure you subscribe and click that notification button because I'm going to be just going through all of them. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.